Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to create traffic light uh, KPI chart in Power BI. So let's move to Power BI window and see how can we create this. So in this window, we can see that I have already created a beautiful KPI, uh, traffic light KPI chart. You know. So before discussing this chart and how it works, uh, let's move to data view and understand the data structure which I am using uh, to create this uh, traffic light KPI chart. Okay. So this is uh, our simple data where uh, like uh, three basic there are three basic columns. One is zone, target, and sales. And this is journal uh, sales performance data basically. You know it has target and sales for each and every zone. So let's move to you know uh, report view and see the structure basically the calculated uh, measure basically. You know so I have uh, calculated sales performance that is you know uh, a sum of sales uh, divided by sum of target. You know and uh, uh, I have also uh, calculated one more measure that is selected zone. So that is selected value and uh, sales zone and overall basically uh, the alternate value. So uh, this will provide the selected you know uh, zone. If you will select any of the uh, zone in this uh, slicer, then it will show the selected zone. If uh, it has multiple selection, then it will show overall, right? So these are the basic you know uh, uh, measure which I have used. And apart from all these measure, I have use some couple of major to uh, show the green you uh, know the green color yellow color and you know red color i will discuss while we will uh, create this uh, chart uh, from scratch so let's understand how this uh, chart works basically so the uh, the target and uh, the criteria for uh, the, this uh, traffic light kpi is you know if sales performance is less than equal to uh, uh, 20 percent uh, then uh, it should uh, show in red color basically and if uh, sales performance is greater than 20% and less than 100%, then that should be in you know, a traffic light uh, color should be yellow, which is uh, reflecting now, right? And if sales performance is greater than or equal to 100%, then that should be in green. So let's, uh, you know, click, uh, uh, let's uh, select any other, uh, you know, uh, zone in, in this slicer, basically. So let's select uh, East. And now you can see that uh, the sales performance of East is 183.78%. It means it's meeting the target for uh, green color and that's the reason this KPI chart, you know, it's showing uh, green color, right? Let's uh, click on South. Now you can see that the South performance is 99.58 and that's the reason it's showing yellow color. Okay, let's click on West. And now you can see that, you know, uh, as uh, the West uh, uh, sales performance is 5.19, uh, you can see also here, you know, 5.19 in this column chart. And that's the reason it's uh, the our uh, traffic light KPI chart is showing a red color. So this is a very beautiful chart, and you can easily create this uh, with the help of you know existing charts which is available in uh, this our uh, visualization pen. So let's uh, move to practice window and uh, no, practice uh, sheet, and uh, let's create this uh, beautiful KPI uh, chart from scratch. So here I have already replicated the column chart and you know the slicer and you know and the card uh, here because our focus is only on KPI chart you know uh, the traffic light KPI chart. So to do this uh, to do that you know we need to create uh, uh, basically six different types of major. Uh, it's a very simple major. Uh, one is for uh, two is for red, two is for yellow, and two is for green. Okay. So let's uh, create uh, create a new major basically. And uh, as we have already created the red, uh, no, uh, red one, okay, is equal to if sales performance, sales percentage is uh, less than equal to twenty, uh, uh, twenty percent, and uh, then it should be one else zero, right? So this is uh, red one, and again. Uh, uh, one may one more measure for uh, you know red that is not red okay not red underscore one right and uh, that should be one minus red one okay same goes for yellow so let's uh, you know new measure yellow underscore one and if uh, used and uh, no, to put we have two conditions basically one is greater than 20% uh, and less than 
हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके सो सेल्स परसेंटेज इज ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट कॉमा सेल्स परसेंटेज इज लेस देन हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट दैट इज वन ओके देन इट शुड बी वन अदरवाइज जीरो राइट let's calculate one more measure for yellow that is you know uh, not yellow one not yellow underscore one right and that should be one minus yellow one okay now we have done two uh, like uh, we have covered for red and yellow let's create a uh, two more measure for you know green okay G green underscore one, and uh, the condition is if uh, sales percentage is greater than uh, is greater than equal to one, then one otherwise zero, right? And uh, again, uh, let's uh, let's create you know one more measure for green that is not uh, not green one, not green underscore one, and the formula will be one minus green one okay that's it so we have you know uh, you, know, you can see that in matter you know uh, red red one uh, that is red and not red again yellow and not yellow green and not green okay so let's uh, uh, select the pie chart basically we will uh, utilize the pie chart here so i'm just selecting a pie chart okay and let it uh, smaller keep it over here and select the two uh, measure basically in value section you know just drag and drop two value one is uh, red you know and the second one is uh, not red right and just go to the uh, format painter like format section here format pen and uh, detail labels just off all the options like tool tip visuals headers and everything you know and just uh, expand the data color and red should be you know select uh, the custom color basically you know just uh, select custom and select the red one okay and not red should be you know that should be the gray black 60% lighter this one okay uh, just uh, close this and again make a duplicate of uh, this pie chart basically uh, so before uh, making duplicate copy of this you know you just uh, 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 just resize this uh, pie chart so okay so you just go to general section here okay and enter the size like width should be uh, 81 and the height should be you know 70 okay now just copy this go to home uh, you know tab and copy this and just click over here and paste it just drag this again uh, paste it and just drag this okay just move this uh, this is for red and this is for yellow and this is for green right so let's uh, change the uh, uh, value here so as of now we have selected red red we need to uh, make it for yellow so just uh, select yellow one and not yellow okay just remove this red one and not red okay go to format and data color you know and as a data color you just uh, select the yellow one uh, you know let it uh, scroll over and custom and select the yellow right and uh, not yellow should be you know this one black 60 percent lighter okay again select this one uh, this uh, we will utilize the third uh, pie chart uh, for green so let's select this chart you know and drag the green here so green one okay and not green right just remove the red one because we we are utilizing this as a and this for a green section you know right and now go to format and change the color basically so for green we need to select the green let us uh, scroll above you know and click on custom color and select the green right and uh, for not green uh, select the 
this one black 60 percent lighter right so we have you know uh you know uh, we have created three different lights one is for red this is for yellow and this is for green so let's select uh, uh like uh, select the zone and see whether uh, the color is you know changing accordingly or not so let's select east so you can see that East is also uh, the like it's meeting the target for green and that's why uh, this color is green and rest of two are you know uh, basically uh, gray right let's click on north north is also meeting the target you know let's click on south so south is you know below 100 percent and greater than you know 20 percent that's why it's uh, showing the color yellow okay let's click on uh, west now we can see that you know west is meeting the target for uh, red that is uh, below 20 percent right and that's the and that's the reason it's just showing red and rest of two are you know in gray color okay so what we need to do we need to just uh you know uh like uh add a uh traffic light uh, icon basically so we have already uh, just moved to performance you know here and uh this is the icon which i have you know downloaded uh uh, this is the icon which you can find in power pi uh, powerpoint basically powerpoint uh, application as a icon office icon you can also download uh, from google so let's copy this icon okay and uh, press ctrl c and move to practice here in this particular sheet and just paste it okay so this is the uh, right just keep it over here maybe uh, just uh, move this red one and this is for yellow just keep it here move uh, the red uh, light over here right in this just make the correct alignment okay and again uh, just select this uh, the yellow one yellow and just move it in a second uh, circle okay right and uh, again uh, select the green that is the last one that is the green you know? that is for green okay let's fit in uh, the box now let's select this uh, uh, traffic light icon go to format and uh, uh, click on bring bring for uh, bring forward and click on bring to front now you can see that it has been created traffic light uh, you know the chart uh, let's move it a little bit lower you know that's it so you can adjust uh, the circle over here and once you'll adjust uh, that will look like you know a beautiful kpi traffic light kpi chart and now you can uh, click on any of the zone like is you can see that you know uh, it has started showing the color basis on our selection and criteria again north is showing uh, green the south and west so this is all about creating a uh, traffic light KPI chart and as you know that this chart is not available you know uh, available in a uh, uh, custom chart on Microsoft so you can easily uh, create this chart with the help of pie chart and some DAX from Moolah which we have you know used uh, here like uh, two major for green two major for you know yellow and two major for red just because we are switching on and off uh, uh, that particular light and that's the reason we have created two different measures for each and every light right and this is uh, very easy to create and you can utilize this chart in your dashboard and of course you know uh, that will leave a good impact uh, on audience who will refer your report or dashboard okay so hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for watching please uh, like share comment and you know uh, subscribe have a great day thank you